Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Current Affairs. Today, we will be sharing with you the new medical emergency that the world is currently facing. We are talking about monkeypox that has left many in fear about the possible community spread of the virus. WHO on 27th May urged countries to increase surveillance as a result of the rise in cases of monkeypox. It is an extremely rare and unusual disease which is a much less severe cousin of smallpox. Nearly 400 suspected and confirmed cases have been reported across 20 countries as of 31st May. Experts are now pushing for faster action from global health authorities to contain this growing outbreak. This disease recently came into the limelight after cases started getting reported in the United Kingdom. Though some of the infected people in the UK had travel histories to Nigeria, the health authorities are yet to ascertain the source of transmission in others. Do you know where this virus is predominantly found? It is commonly found in Central and West Africa, often in proximity to tropical rainforests and has been increasingly appearing in urban areas. I know what all of you are thinking now. Has any monkeypox case been reported in India? Well, thankfully, no cases have been reported in India till now. But the government authorities are on high alert. So don't worry, the situation is in control in our country. Monkeypox is a zoonotic virus, which means that it spreads from animals to humans. Did you know that it is called monkeypox because it was first identified in laboratory monkeys in 1958? The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or DRC, while trying to eliminate smallpox, an acute contagious viral disease. Though smallpox was eradicated in 1980, monkeypox continues to occur in several other Central and Western African countries. Now, where do you think the majority of infections get reported? Most of the cases are from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But the monkeypox cases that have been reported outside of Africa are linked to international travel or imported animals. The WHO has stated that fever, intense headache, muscle aches, back pain, Low energy, swollen lymph nodes and skin rash or lesions are the main symptoms of monkeypox. The UK Health Agency has stated that monkeypox can be transmitted from person to person through contaminated surfaces and objects. It can even spread through the coughs or sneezes of a person with the monkeypox rash. Currently, there are no specific treatments available for monkeypox infection. But the good news is that it can be controlled. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, antiviral drugs may help, but they haven't been studied as a treatment for monkeypox. Instead, doctors monitor the infected person and try to relieve their symptoms. And guess what? The good news is that most people get better on their own without any treatment. If there is an outbreak of monkeypox in multiple people, there are options to control the spread of the disease using the smallpox vaccine and other treatments. Monkeypox is an orthopox virus. Now, generally, viruses have a bad name as they are responsible for the death of millions throughout history due to diseases like flu, smallpox, monkeypox and so on. But all viruses are not our enemies. Vast majority of viruses do not infect human beings at all, or even mammals. And can you believe that many of these viruses could actually be good for us, either by promoting our health or saving us from other diseases? For example, bacteriophages or phages are viruses that infect and destroy specific bacteria. 
They are found in the mucous membrane lining in the digestive, respiratory and reproductive tracts. But what is this mucus? Well, it is a thick jelly-like material and scientists have suggested that the phages present in the mucus are part of our natural immune system. It protects the human body from invading bacteria and protects the underlying cells. Phages have actually been used to treat diseases like dysentery, sepsis and skin infections for nearly a century. What is important is that we don't need to panic regarding the rise in monkeypox cases. Studies are ongoing to understand how the virus is evolving and how many people are getting infected. They are working on developing a vaccine for this disease. So, keep a close watch on unusual symptoms, especially those who have a travel history from the monkeypox infected countries. After all, precaution is better than cure.